What's up, Sunshines? go check a couple of my rentals around Metro Detroit and I'm gonna show you how I can turn them into Airbnbs. We have the first property and I'm converting this property into an Airbnb rather than a long-term rental. Why? Because the cash flow would be significantly higher. I can rent this one for $1,500 on the long-term markets, but on Airbnb, it will gross me between $25 to $3,000 a month, which is insane. So let's check it out inside. Another thing you have to take into account when you buy a house, a rental house, is your interest rates. And now the interest rate being gone up, it's gonna be harder for you to meet your numbers. So if your numbers are minimum on a regular rental, but they are still making a bit of sense, check them out with Airbnb. Because if your property is located in a city that allows Airbnb, I would definitely consider it because now you're not making okay money, you're still making great money with high interest rate. Guess what happens when you refinance the same property when the interest rate goes down? Your cash flow goes back up like crazy. And that's what we expect in a few years, right? We were hoping this interest rate to go down. Let's cross fingers, baby. On this house that I bought in 2016 for only $30,000 and I put $70,000 into it, I appraised two years ago when I refiled it for $328,000. I'm converting it from long-term to Airbnb. So as you can see, this property is now vacant from its previous tenants who left it in okay shape, but there's still a lot of clean out and little you know, upgrades and touch up to do. So that we can convert into an Airbnb. And that's what we're doing now. We're assessing, we're reevaluating how much money we have to spend, how much time we spend here so that we can finally get our money from the Airbnb. We're gonna give you some updates down the road of what this looks like before and after. I think that's gonna be pretty much pretty fun to see because Veronique, she does a huge, beautiful job on all these Airbnbs around Metro Detroit for me. So stay tuned. I bought this house in 2014, one of my first rental properties when I moved to the US. I only bought it for 52 grand back then. Now it's worth over 135,000 because, you know, I got an appraiser and I appraised it for 135, so. Is that fine? Yeah. So, let's check it out. so let's check it out, but just so you know, it used to be blue and we painted it terrible blue, as you can see on the video right here, into this beautiful gray, so. So last time you saw it was bare, empty, not painted. We did the whole thing, replaced some floorings. We did like a few things. So as you start converting your rental properties into Airbnb properties, you will definitely want to check out one thing that's really important and could make you potentially lose money if you don't check it out. It's the city compliance. So you have to go on Google and type your city name city ordinance short-term rental if it shows that on the website of the city that it's allowed good for you but sometimes there is some permit to get or some restrictions if you have questions additional question about it you want to call your city if it doesn't show anything about the airbnb it means they didn't start enforcing any rules about it which means that you can go for it and sometimes in some cities they are saying no it's fully restricted but guess what, when you go on airbnb.com, you'll still see some Airbnbs. So now it's up to you to dig in more and see, are they really enforcing it? You know, are they really doing it? In Detroit, for example, we can do plenty of Airbnbs, no issues. New York City, they enforced it like crazy a few years ago. There are still some Airbnbs that are just fine. So it's up to you to check that out. So at the end of the day, Airbnb will bring me so much more cash flow than regular rental. And that's why I'm converting them three into Airbnb. And if you guys have any questions or you want to know what the working process of these three properties are, make sure you subscribe and follow the channel. Like, comment. I see you around. Thanks for watching.